Right now, it's the new year and everybody's gonna be getting their fitness on. If you recently moved to Loganville or perhaps you're thinking about moving here or you may even live here and not know about the places that I'm going to share today or best places to work out in Loganville and other tidbits about the area, stay tuned. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing my four top places to work out in Loganville. And if you're not in Loganville, no worries. You can look for these facilities near you. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been a part of my YouTube family, I appreciate you. My name is Natasha Bazil. I'm a realtor and an associate broker with Virtual Properties Realty. I service Gwinnett County and surrounding areas. One of those areas is Walton County, which I happen to reside in, specifically Loganville. Prior to that, I was in Florida and prior to that, New York. So if you're in the process of relocating to Georgia or you're thinking about it, I can definitely relate. Reach out if you have questions. Before we get started, this video is in honor of Miss Jacqueline Edward Smith, better known as Miss Jackie. And I met her through working out. Two of the places that I'm gonna mention on this list, Miss Jackie used to frequent. Miss Jackie was a beautiful person and just a wonderful soul. Her smile lit up the room. We miss her bright smile and her energy and her jazzy workout clothes so much. She will always be remembered. We truly miss her. Lastly, I want to give a shout out to Floss and Fit. I had the pleasure of working with Flo, also known as Flossie, and her husband Dennis in the sale of one of their properties and they were an absolute delight to work with and they are in the business of health and wellness. They encourage women to brace their beauty while getting fit. Be you, be healthy, stay flossing. I will have their information in the description box below. Please check out their Instagram. It's always so positive and encouraging and uplifting and not to mention the workouts. They are offering Zoom workouts, so check out the schedule there. No matter where you are, you can work out. While exercising via Zoom is not on my list, I definitely love that option because it allows you to work out from virtually like anywhere in the comfort of your home. So if you're someone that is not really into getting into the gym and working out around people, please be sure to check out Floss and Fit. Today, I'm gonna to share the four best places to work out in Loganville, plus some nuggets about the area. I'm sharing in no particular order, but to keep in line with the four best places, I'm gonna share four things that I love about each one. To help me with my first one, I'm bringing in my husband. So for number one on the list, we're gonna start with CrossFit. And to help me with that, I have my husband. Mr. Brazil. Yo, yo. <laughs> I asked my husband to join me and he was a good sport about it. He loves CrossFit. Guys, like he has a healthy hobby. So for those of you that aren't familiar with what CrossFit is, I'm gonna read from CrossFit Loganville's Facebook page. CrossFit Loganville is a community-based facility that will help you reach your fitness goals, whether you are just starting out or you have always been a gym rat looking for something new. So babe, correct me if I'm wrong, but CrossFit, there are CrossFits all over, right? There are, yep. Yeah. So there's a CrossFit organization um, and people are able to affiliate, you know, so to speak. So there's CrossFit everywhere. We've been on vacation in Bahamas with the CrossFit. There's in Tokyo, Japan, all over the US. So that's the one thing that's really neat about it. Pretty much everywhere you go, you're going to be able to find a box or a gym uh, for your liking. Yes, and you heard him say when we went on vacation, he went to CrossFit. I'm in full vacation mode. He went to CrossFit. Yep. Toronto, Bahamas, Florida, yeah. Kentucky, like everywhere we go, try to find a box to drop in it. The next time, no, I'm not gonna make that statement. I was gonna say the next time we go on vacation, I'll go. You ain't gonna be there. I ain't gonna be where? On vacation? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna be at the gym. <laughs> yeah, um, uh. vacation is vacation. Okay, so how long have you been CrossFitting? Is that a thing? Crossfitting? I guess you could say so. So five and a half years. Yeah, he started in April 2015 mm -hmm. and he has been going religiously. I'm gonna insert his before picture. I'm gonna give him all the props because he has lost a lot of weight and he has maintained it for a very long time. And would you say a lot of that goes to CrossFit? Yeah, so I lost about you know, 90, 90 pounds over the years and CrossFit is the way, reason why I'm able to keep it off. So let's get into it. I have four things that I really love about CrossFit. And just to let you know, you know, I went for a couple of years and the last couple of weeks I've actually been going back with him. I really have enjoyed being back. And um, one year I competed in the Grinch games, right? Mm -hmm. um, what else? And then, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's really cool. And here are the four things that I like about it. Number one, it removes the guesswork. So, mm -hmm. and what I mean by guesswork, like, some people love going to the gym and they're very disciplined. They have their routines and they, 
I, I don't have time for that. Like I, I don't have the mental power to come up with these different routines and to make sure I'm doing the right things in the gym. So going to CrossFit, you just go in and you know what is scheduled a program. Can you talk about that? They have what's called, depending on where you go, it's either gonna be called a workout of the day or WOD, W-O-D for short, or Metcon, uh, Metabolic Conditioning. Um, and so ultimately every day you have a workout that's programmed for you. It's gonna be a mix of either cardiovascular activity, uh, weightlifting, gymnastics, um, sometimes it's high intensity, sometimes it's more of like a long, you know, chipper type of workout, but you know exactly what you're walking into before you walk in there. Number two, I love, really love the camaraderie in CrossFit. Like you, total strangers, you know, you'll be getting through a workout and they're just like, good job, keep going, keep moving. Like it's really, I just, I just love that about CrossFit and that is just like I feel like that's a general CrossFit thing because mm -hmm. you know even when you know I did the Grinch games strangers like yep. they're just cheering people on and I just I just love that encouragement so if you're somebody that does not like working out alone you need that motivation you really don't have a partner or somebody to work out with I think CrossFit is a really good fit for you yeah, absolutely. So, you know, all CrossFit gyms, especially right now, we're doing top four in Loganville, but CrossFit Loganville, there's a really, really strong community there of coaches, of other athletes that, again, is like a little family. Um, and, you know, for me, I work crazy hours. So typically the only escape I have from, you know, work and some of the mundane things I do is CrossFit. And you go there, you see your second family, you know, on, on good days, um, you know, you're the one that's cheering people on to help them finish on, on other days when I might be struggling, you know, they're lifting me up, you know, they're rooting me on to the finish line. So really, really, really strong sense of community. Um, absolutely. Thank you. Number three is trying different things. So again, like I said, I don't have the brain power to go into the gym and try to figure out this routine and all of that. And then I might favor like, all right, I'll just stay walking on the treadmill and I'll never venture out to like use the weights or the other machines yeah. that are there. So I really like with CrossFit, like you're trying different things. And don't get intimidated and think, well, you just have to be a strong athlete and you just have to have all these muscles like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, you, you scale it. It's mm -hmm. called scaling. You do the weight that you can do, the reps that you can do. Mm -hmm. So I really like that. Number four for me <laughs> are the class times. I really like that the the there are different times during the day. So if you work at early morning, what's the earliest? Uh, five thirty a.m. Five thirty. What's the other times? Five thirty, nine thirty. Then you have noon. 4, 5.15, 6.30 p.m. Pretty much there is an option for most people to be able to get in there at some time. So let's just say, especially, I really enjoyed this with real estate. You know, like say some days when I could get in there at nine o'clock, but if I had appointments that day, I would, could go in the evening and I wouldn't miss a beat because all of the classes are the same. So I really like that it accommodates different people and their schedule. Thank you, Mr. Brazil, for joining us today and sharing about CrossFit. So if CrossFit sounds like something that you'd be interested in, look for one in your area. And if you're in the Loganville area, check out CrossFit Loganville. Number two on the list is Kula Fitness. Kula is a Sanskrit word. I probably messed that up. That means community of the heart. It is the idea that all of the diversity of creation in the universe is in relationship and is connected. The first thing I love about Kula is Kristen. Kristen, the owner, the instructor. I can't say enough about Kristen. Her energy, her vibe, her enthusiasm. She is all about health and wellness. Her ability to keep a smile on and say something funny or encouraging to me while I'm frowning is amazing. She always has high energy. I honestly do not know how she does it, teaching so many classes, but she does it. Number two, the variety of music. I truly appreciate Kristen's playlist. Like we could be working out to DMX and she knows every word and she is fully into it and cheering us on. And then the next song will be something rock from ACDC. And I love it. I love that she plays something for everyone. I love that people will always feel included and welcomed. Guys, it was one day it had to be about 30 something degrees in Loganville and Kristen was playing some island vibes. Like I knew I loved it from before, but that night, this is why. We just finished doing some kind of squat workout. Our abs are tight, but mentally she took us to palm trees and beach and paradise. It was so much fun. 
Number three, and this just speaks to Kristen's spirit. Every month she does a different fundraiser for different special needs. One more can I say that just shows you who she is. She's always thinking about others. Last but not least are the class times. I like that she has a variety from early morning into the evening so you can always find a time that's gonna work for you. And I'm gonna throw in that I like the variety of workouts that we do. We'll have dance routines, we'll have some that includes weights. When she can, she'll bring in other instructors, like we've done mixed fit, she's had a boot camp, she has someone that is coming in doing body fat scans. I just love that she really has a pulse in the health community and camaraderie with other workout professionals. Number three on my list is refit. Refit was really new to me. I found out um, because I saw a post on Nextdoor. If you're not familiar with Nextdoor, essentially it's like a Facebook for your neighborhood. So people in your immediate neighborhood, people in your area, your neighborhood, a specific radius, however that's determined, are able to post things that are helpful and informative. So if there's something going on in the neighborhood, they might say, hey, did you see this going on? Does anybody know what that's about? Or, hey, do you know of a plumber? I think it's a really good site for you to join so you can keep up with what's going on in your area. Like I said, I saw a post on Nextdoor about refit and then I like working out. I didn't mention it before, but I especially love the convenience of all of these places. And like I said, if you're not in Loganville, look for these places in your area, do a Google search and see what is near you. Like CrossFit, there are different refits. Refits, refit communities, however you say that. But the one I'm talking about, it's in Loganville and on Facebook, they are known as Refit NGA. Refit is a life-changing group exercise experience that rocks your body, heart, and soul with powerful moves and positive music to inspire you from the inside out. Wow. And that is absolutely why I love Refit. That is my number one. Just the carefree dancing. Mind you, when I went there, I knew nobody. And that this is the kind of carefree dancing that you do when you're in the shower by yourself and nobody sees you. It's just, you just really get into it and just enjoy it. You're not worrying about anybody looking at you. You're not looking at them. You're just getting kind of lost in the music and the moves. It's just a really good time every time. Number two are the instructors. Trisha's the organizer, but she also has her team. So she'll do a couple of workouts. Then others will come up and lead the exercise. Again, high energy, fun, extremely welcoming. When I went there, I knew nobody. I just saw the post on next door and I was like, okay, that's right there. This time works for me, let me try it out. The third thing that I like about Refit, like I mentioned, um, it's positive music. There's a faith spiritual base with this. So at the end, and I'm not sure if every Refit does this, but we end with a prayer circle and we're just touching feet. We just get in a circle and touch feet. Like Trisha might share something positive, a poem or something just uplifting and encouraging. If somebody needs prayer, they'll ask for it. If somebody has a praise report and has good news, they'll share that. It's just a really good environment. So you're working out, you're having fun, you're enjoying it, you're hearing this positive music. And then at the end, you get to kind of close out with that kind of sharing. And also, if you don't want to share, you don't have to. The fourth thing that I like about Refit is that it is conveniently located at Meridian Park. Speaking of Meridian Park, that is my number four. My number four is Meridian Park, but I'm gonna lump that in with Walton County Parks and Recreation. That's the umbrella, Walton County Parks and Recreation, and they have two main parks, Meridian Park in Loganville and Felker Park in Monroe. One of the really cool things is once you have a membership, you can visit either park. If you're in the area, I highly recommend you check out the Walton County Parks and Recreation website. On there, you're gonna see different tabs. They have different information about community centers, um, trails, they have pavilion rentals, pretty much anything that you're going to need, start there. Number one for me is gonna be the athletics. With the athletics, they offer adult athletics, baseball, softball, basketball, cheerleading, football, soccer, track and field, and coaching. So if you're new to this area and you wanna get your kids in activities, this is definitely a site that you wanna go ahead and check out. When we moved here in 2007, my oldest was seven years old and he's about to be 21. Yeah, so he has done football, he has done basketball, and he's done baseball. So while it's been a while, I am familiar with that. Sidebar, my girls do dance. So my oldest has done competitive dance and my youngest has done recreational dance. So if you're looking for suggestions on dance studios, don't hesitate to reach out to me. And another really cool thing in Loganville, the park that a lot of the sports are played at is West Walton Park and that is right behind Meridian. 
West Walton Park is also where they have the independent celebrations. If you haven't seen this video, check it out about events in Loganville. This was from a couple of years ago, but they still have the same events. And you'll also find a lot of nuggets about Loganville in that video. Number two on the list is senior fitness. My mom has been going for quite some time. And I love that they offer this for seniors. I like that she gets out the house and she gets moving and she has her friends that she's met from working out there. So if you are relocating or have relocated and you have your parents or grandparents and you wanna get them out of the house, check out this option. Multi-generational living is really big these days. A lot of people that I work with have their parents that are coming to live with them and they're getting the bigger houses and the bedrooms on the main level to accommodate accommodate them. So this is certainly one that you should check out. The third thing I love about Meridian Park are the options. There is something for everyone. They have walking trails, both indoor and outdoor. There's a pond out there where you can fish. You'll see ducks out. So if you have little ones, it's really cool to take them out there to see that. I have a play area where the little ones can play. Inside, they have a workout area that has equipment. They have basketball courts. I know my son and his friends enjoy going and playing there. And then they also offer classes. Like I mentioned, ReFit is one of them. Looking at the class schedule, they have Zumba Gold, they have the senior fitness classes, they have Tai Chi and it's free. They have Yoga Faith, I'm assuming that's like a faith-based yoga. They even have line dancing. On the educational side, which I think is really neat, the last Saturday of the month, they offer educational classes. Right now it's on essential oils. And for homeschoolers, they did not forget about you. They offer homeschool arts and crafts, as well as the last thing, The last thing that I love about Meridian Park, it is always clean and well-kept. And I also love driving by and just seeing people walking on the track. It's just nice to see. And can I give a shout out? to the man, I do not know who this man is, I know he has white hair, but several times a week when I drive by, he is out there picking up trash. Aside from Walton County keeping up with the area, outside of the park, you know, closest to the street, there's flyaway trash, maybe people litter. Shout out to this man, I don't know who he is. If you know him and you're watching this video, please give him a round of applause and a hug from me. I just think it is so great that he takes time out of his day to go out and pick up trash several times during the week. So those are my top four places to work out in Loganville. I hope you enjoy. If you know of other places in Loganville that you'd recommend, please go ahead and leave them down below. If you worked out at any of these places, please go ahead and leave that down below and share. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and like this video, subscribe. I appreciate you. Have a positive, peaceful, and productive day. Stay tuned for bloopers. <coughs> speech like it's just yeah. God. Right. You the you, you. recording etiquette you ready yeah about it because <laughs> he is the number one crossfitter in all of Loganville <laughs> no yeah. but you're very good I'm okay but you love it I love it. Yes, so good. Love. I'm I'm gonna give him all the props because yeah, he wasn't always just chiseled. <laughs> <laughs> number four for me is huh? No, go ahead. I was just saying number four. Oh, okay. Say it again. Oh, number four. No, say how you said it before. Litter, which is one of my pet peeves. I cannot stand to see people littering, especially grown adults. Like, who do you think is going to clean up after you? But I digress. Diversity of creation.